we begin uh, today's uh, sports segment, uh, of course not with football, we begin with uh, athletics where the International Association of Athletics Federation's decision uh, to limit the longest event uh, in the Diamond League circuit to 3,000 meters, wiping out the 5,000 and 10,000 meters will disproportionately affect Ethiopia and Kenya two powerhouses in the middle and long distance events. And now, after a meeting in Doha, the international body says that the Diamond League circuit will be reduced from 14 to 12 competitions, while the number of disciplines as well will be cut from 32 to 24, with 12 each for men and for women. That will be from 2020. Now, some top long distance runners like uh, Gabriel Hel Selesi as well as uh, Kenenisa Bekene, all of Ethiopia, have argued that uh, this move was quite unfair to some countries. Now, it is a sad decision that will disproportionately affect Ethiopia and Kenya as well as East Africa as a whole. That was uh, Gabriel Selesi there being quoted. And now we continue. Uh, some African countries have also been making strides in the Middle East, some Asian countries, I should say. At a time when uh, the governing body needed to exert its maximum effort to boost athletics worldwide, it has taken a decision that is uh, not strategic. And we finish, uh, it is uh, the Diamond League's prestige uh, that will also be affected. Uh, some Middle East countries uh, have been making strides in uh, long distance competitions. Uh, Kenanisa, as well as other uh, athletes, uh, uh, they are, they, it will deprive fans of the chance to watch some of these world's best uh, athletes there. So it's a uh, a little bit controversial there for some of the former long distance athletes the decision of the IAAF to strip off the 5,000 as well as the 10,000 meters race in the diamond circle. And now we move over to football where we exceptionally talk about football uh, on today's show. Uh, Europe's most prestigious football club competition is seeing Africans taking a front row seat in that competition. Sadio Mane became Liverpool's most prolific scorer away from home in the Champions League after scoring two goals on Wednesday night against Bayern Munich FC. Liverpool thumped Bayern three goals to one in Germany as the Senegalese forward totaled seven away goals for the Reds, surpassing Steven Gerrard as well as uh, Roberto Firmino. Mane has a total of 13 Champions League goals for the Reds. Uh, he is tied with Mohamed Salah, who is another African too, an Egyptian, and only behind Steven Gerrard on 21 Champions League goals in total. This season, Mali's uh, uh, Musa Marega of FC Porto is Africa's leading scorer in the UEFA Champions League. Uh, the Malian has scored six times and is expected to score more goals as his team makes it to the last eight in the quarterfinals of this year's Champions League. The quarterfinals draw which will take place later today, Friday, March 15, in Nyon, in Switzerland. And now there is a historic four English team, teams in the last eight of the competition, both Manchester, that's Manchester United and Manchester City, uh, as well as Liverpool and Tottenham. And then we have uh, one Italian team, Juventus, with Cristiano Ronaldo, one Spanish team, FC Barcelona, with Lionel Messi, one Portuguese team, FC Porto, and of course, one Dutch team, Ajax of Amsterdam. We finish uh, this uh, segment in, on a sad note, we should say, the former football Kenyan, uh, Kenyan Football Federation Secretary General, I should say, uh, Hussein Swala was named one of the 157 victims who died on Sunday morning following the Ethiopian airline crash. Swala had, official, had, had officially been uh, a match official in a CAF Champions League match in Cairo and was on the Boeing 737 that crashed en route to Nairobi, Kenya from uh, Ethiopia. That was on Sunday morning. Swala has, uh, was the match commissioner, to be, to be more precise, in the match that pitted the uh, Egyptian side Ismaili of Egypt and uh, Tupusa Mazembe of uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. That game ended one, in a 1-1 one, one draw. And our, our condolence to his family as well as the entire Kenyan Football Federation. That's all we had for you for sports today. Go to our website, www.africanews.com, for more sports news. And of course, leave us your suggestions and comments. See you next week, Monday, on Football Planet.